with bullet traveling with this velocity of 16 meter per second penetrates a tree trunk and comes to rest in 0.4 meter. Find the time taken during this retardation. So this is tree trunk and bullet enters at a speed of 16 meter per second. And uh, by covering a distance of 0.4 meter, its velocity becomes zero. Now we can apply v square equal to u square plus 2as to get a. So we put the values. So 0 equal to 16 square plus 2 into a into s 0 0.4. So from here we get a equals minus 320 meter per second square. Now we apply v equal to u plus 80. Final velocity is 0. u is 16. a is 320 negative into time. So this will give t equal to 16 by 320, which is 1 by 20 second. Question number 17. The bullet going with a speed of 350 meter per second enters a concrete wall and penetrates a distance of 5 centimeters before coming to rest. Find the dissolution. Same situation is there. So this is concrete wall. Bullet enters and it covers certain distance. At this point, its velocity is 350 meter per second. And after covering 5 centimeter, its velocity becomes 0. So we apply formula v square equal to u square plus 2a s. This is 0, 350 square plus twice of a into 5 by 100. We simplify it. a equal to negative 350 square divided by, here this can be cancelled by 50, this can be cancelled by 10. So this will become not divided by, this will get multiplied by 10. So this will give 12.25 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second square. Now, question number 18. A particle starting from rest means u is equal to 0, moves with constant acceleration. A is there. It takes 5 seconds to reach the speed, t equal to 5 seconds. Speed is 18 km per hour, so it can be written as 18 into 5 by 18, that is 5 meter per second. Find the average velocity during the period, the distance traveled by the particle during this period. So we can apply formula v equal to u plus 8. So v is 5, u is 0, plus a, a2, 5. So this will give a equal to 1 meter per second square. Now, distance traveled, s equal to ut plus half, a t square, u is 0. So s equal to 1 by 2, a is 1, time is 5 square. So this will give 12.5. Meter. Now, V average will be S divided by T. 12.5 divided by 1, for it, not 1, time is 5 seconds. So 5, 2.5 meter per second. Question number 19. The driver takes 0 0.2 second to apply the brakes after he sees a need for it. This is called the reaction time of the driver. If he is driving a car at the speed of 54 km per hour and the brakes cause a distillation of 6 meter per second square, find the distance traveled by the car after he sees the need to put the brakes on. So here, suppose 
subscriber text will point to second to see the need for applying brake. So during this time, since he is traveling, his speed is 54 km per hour means 5 by 18. So it is 15 meter per second. So from A to B, he will cover. Fifteen into zero point two. That is three meter. Now from here, at this point, he will apply the brake. And suppose at point C, the vehicle is stopped or car is stopped. So we have to calculate first the retardation, then this distance BC, and then total distance. So suppose this distance is S. Now. Let's apply the formula. Here, distillation is given as minus 6 meter per second square. We know V square equal to U square plus 2AS. So, final speed is 0. U is 15 square plus 2A is minus 6 into S. So, we can evaluate it. S will be equal to 15 square by 2 into 6. This will be equal to 18.7 by meter. Now, total distance. So, this distance S is 18.75. So, AC, that is total distance, will be 3 plus 18.75. That is 21.75 meters. So that will answer. Let's go to the next question. Question number 20. Here, two car models are given. Model A, model B. Model A has acceleration minus 6 meter per second square and B has minus 7.5 meter per second square. Initial speed is given for driver X, which the reaction time is 0 0.2 second, 54 km per hour. Braking distance is to be found. And total distance before car comes to rest is to be found. In second case, for driver X, U equal to 54 kilometer, braking distance is to be found. And total distance is to be found. For driver Y, reaction time is 0 0.3 second. And initial speed of the car is 72 kilometer per hour. Braking distance is to be found. Total distance is to be found. Now, second case for second car, for driver Y, this equation is given. We have to find out braking distance and total distance. So let's calculate. So we consider car model A for first driver. So car model A. So for driver X reaction time is given. It is 0 0.2 second. And the initial speed U equal to 54 into 5 by 18, that is 15 meter per second. So the distance traveled before brakes are applied will be equal to distance before brakes are applied will be equal to reaction time into initial speed 15, that is 3 meter. So after 3 meter, break will be applied. Now, next point is, we have to calculate breaking distance. So let's evaluate it. So breaking distance can be found by S equal to V square minus U square divided by 2A. We put the values. So moving with 15 kilometer, sorry, 15 meter per second, 15 square 0 minus final speed is 0, 15 square divided by twice of for this purpose, acceleration is minus 6. So this will give 18.75 meter. So this is breaking distance that is A equal to. 18.75 meter. Now, B is total distance. 
since before brakes are applied, three meter distance is covered by the driver because of his reaction time. So B will be equal to 18.75 plus three meter. Now, for driver Y, if we evaluate the same thing, so let's do it. For model same, for model A, for driver Y, we are going to calculate. So U is given as 72 kilometer per hour. So 5 by 18, that will be equal to 20 meter per second. And uh, reaction time, time of driver is this much. So distance covered, suppose this is X. So 0 0.3 into 20, that is 6 meter. Now, after covering 6 meter, the driver Y applies the brakes. So let's find out the distance covered. So V square minus U square divided by 2A is equal to S. So S will be equal to 0 minus 20 square divided by 2i of acceleration is 6. So this will give 33 point. 3, 3 meter. So we have got this value, value of C, 33.33 meter. And total distance will be this distance also will be added. So this will become 39.33 meter. Now consider model B. So For model B, driver, sorry, driver X. So as we have seen, the distance covered before applying the brake is 0 0.2 into 15, that is 3 meter. And now braking distance, we have to find out. So S equal to V square minus U square divided by 2A. So V square 0 minus moving with 15 square divided by twice of A. Acceleration this time is minus 7.5. So we will get it as 15 meter. This is breaking distance in this case. So for model B, this is breaking distance. That is 15 meter and Total distance, total stopping distance F. So we add three meter to it. So this will become 15 plus three meter. Now, car model B for driver Y. So distance covered before applying the brake is six meter because the reaction time is 0 0.3 second and the speed is u equal to 72 into 5 by 18 that is 20 meter per second so here distance x will be equal to 0 0.3 into 20 that is 6 meter now we have to find out the breaking distance so breaking distance will be v square minus u square divided by 2a is s so we put the values so V0, U is 20 square divided by twice of minus 7.5 is equal to S. So if we evaluate it, this will be equal to 27 meter. So we say that value of G is 27 meter and the total distance before car comes to rest will be 27 plus the distance covered before applying the brake is 6 meter. And that is our answer. Thank you for watching.